Hello, today I would like to talk a little about the mind-body connection, a topic which is becoming more and more familiar and widely accepted in society these days. And yet the elders of many tribes, the shamans, the healers, the yogi, have known for a very long time that the mind and body are deeply intertwined. Indeed, ancient mystics have hidden away in the forests for years or lifetimes to alleviate their minds and gain mastery over their body. They could control their breathing rates, body temperature and other bodily functions with unbelievable precision. They did this to connect with the deeper truth of life and the essence of their spirit. I guess the question is, how can the average person start to understand the mind-body connection and bring this power into their own life? Well, you may have experienced this connection when you were in a meditative state. Perhaps you were sitting in your bedroom, but in your mind you were a million miles away, sitting by the coast on a warm summer's day. As this wonderful situation comes to mind, you feel your shoulders relax, your breath naturally deepen, as you imagine that you are breathing in the fresh, salty air. Your mind creates an image and your body instantly relaxes. In this way, every thought you have actually has a visceral effect on your physical body. The same phenomenon helps when you're feeling stressed in the mind, but then you change your body position and lay for a few moments in a super relaxing yoga, Shavasana. Just being present in that moment of stillness and comfort gives your mind a powerful message that it can be calm and relaxed. The body can also be the one to initiate the good mood and you may have had the experience of this when you have been exercising. It doesn't just have an influence on your physical health, it has an influence on your mental health too. There is a nerve called the vagus nerve that runs between the brain and the gut, creating a gut-brain connection You will know this connection from when you are feeling anxious and you lose your appetite, or perhaps when you have a stomach pain that is making you feel mentally stressed. These pathways are related to one another, and it doesn't matter whether the reaction starts in the mind or in the body, both will be equally affected. Just as the mind creates thoughts to communicate to our sense of consciousness, so too does the body. But the way the body communicates is through symptoms and signals. For example, when you are feeling stressed or angry, you may notice that you are carrying around extra tension in your shoulders or your jaw, or you might get a migraine. If you stop to explore these symptoms, you will begin to understand the way the body is talking to you. It is your signal to stop and implement some relaxation or rest into your life. The key to recognizing the body and mind connection is through observing yourself from an outsider's perspective. Take a few meditative moments to consider how stress feels in your mind and in your body. Where exactly does it reside? Then take a few moments to think about how gratitude and love feel in your mind and in your body. Where do these sensations live? Remember, you are the creator of your reality. By taking time to understand this connection, you gain the power to control your mind and your body like never before.